everyone, I'm back from the valley and I thought we'd give you a quick update, or rather, what about a quick hair tutorial, because mine is looking so good right now. Uh, jokes. The taxi on the way home didn't show up, or I'm sorry, it came and went while we were inside. Does this look like the hair of someone that stayed inside? Don't think so. So that was a little bit of a dampener, literally, but nonetheless, I wanted to do a very quick video just telling you about the ballet. I was so excited about it beforehand and it did not disappoint. So as I mentioned in my previous video, my grandma and I went to see Highland Fling, a collaboration between Matthew Bourne and the Scottish Ballet. So Matthew Bourne is, in some ways, he's kind of the marmite of the ballet world, and I mean that as a compliment, even if it doesn't sound like one. He is certainly not one for the purists. You might be familiar with his work from Swan Lake with all male swans um, and it actually features at the end of the Billy Elliot film. So yeah, he's that guy. So Highland Fling is a modern adaptation of La Silphide, which is a classic romantic ballet. And I'm not gonna lie, the first act, it's very comedic. It's really played for laughs. And although it's enjoyable, I did have a few reservations just because it is taking it so far from ballet that I know and love. And I think the audience lapped it up, but sometimes I think that balance between comedy and dance content can be tricky to get right. But I knew from previous Matthew Bourne productions that he always just treads that line to perfection and it didn't disappoint. Act two was phenomenal. The dancing really blew me away. It is actually very emotional and that is one of the th great things about Matthew Bourne's work just when you think you're you're having a laugh you'll then really tug at the heartstrings and also quite often includes a kind of feminist theme in there and a very subtle one this one very much about making sure that women literally and figuratively do not have their wings clipped um, that's maybe a bit of a spoiler alert, but I don't think there's that many spoilers in Bali. Pretty much can find the plots with a quick Google. Um, but really loved it so much. Most enjoyable afternoon out if you're looking for a Bali or just to dip your toe in the Bali water. Uh, dip your toe in the Bali iron brew in this case, then Matthew Bourne is certainly the way to go. And oh, and on the feminist point, I'm also struck by how his dancing really focuses on strength, on power, on beauty, but a empowered kind of beauty. So quite often you can have worries about kind of waifs in ballet or the idea that it promotes unhealthy body types, but that's certainly not the case with his work. So happy days, lovely, lovely ballet. And as you can see, I went for the Alexa Chung uh, t-shirt. Kind of the look is slightly ruined with the whole drag, uh, drowned, dragged, drowned rat uh, situation that I have going on. I'll try and insert some clips so you can see that I did look a little bit smarter earlier on in the afternoon. Now, next plan is to order a pizza. So that's what I always love to do. I'm sitting in the audience going, jump higher, go faster, and then order myself a pizza. But it's a fun day, it's a day out, and tomorrow we'll be back to puppy maintenance and painting as well. So I really hope you're having a good day and I'll try and leave some links to Matthew Bourne and also another couple of his productions. One that I particularly loved was Red Shoes. Red Shoes, great family film if you've ever come across it and also Sleeping Beauty. His Sleeping Beauty is to die for. So I'll try and link them so you can have a look and see what you think. Let me know if you're a ballet fan, if you've got any recommendations for what you're watching, seeing at the moment. And yeah, that's all from me. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!